Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. Today we're diving deep into the latest trailer for the highly anticipated adaptation of the Broadway classic Wicked, directed by John M. Chu. Fans around the world are buzzing with excitement, but there's a glaring question on everyone's mind. Why on earth is no one singing in this trailer? Wicked is known for being one of the most celebrated musicals in Broadway history. A tale woven with vibrant music and captivating performances. So, it raises eyebrows when the trailer promotes it as what feels like just another drama. Sure, there's a nod to music with the iconic song Defying Gravity making an appearance. But shouldn't we be seeing the powerhouse talents of Cynthia Erivo and Ariana Grande in action, belting out the numbers that have enchanted audiences for years? Despite the studio's choice to hold back the musical showcases in the trailer, we all know that Wicked isn't just about its story. It's also about the spectacular musical numbers that define it. Tracking the friendship and growth of Elphaba and Galinda, the music is a crucial element of their journey and withholding that from promotional content feels like a missed opportunity. With major stars like Ariana Grande and Jonathan Bailey on board, it seems perplexing for the studio to downplay the musical aspect of a project that thrives on its show-stopping songs. It's understandable that studios might want to keep some secrets under wraps, but Wicked has a massive built-in audience who are aware of what to expect, a musical extravaganza. Previous trends show that this isn't an isolated incident. Just look at other recent adaptations like Wonka and Mean Girls, which face similar criticisms for keeping their musical performances under wraps before release. With the massive success of musicals like The Greatest Showman and Disney's live-action adaptations, it's hard to fathom why studios are still hesitant to embrace the full musical experience in their marketing. As we await the premiere of Wicked in theaters on November 22nd, it raises concerns about how the film will be presented to audiences when it finally lands in cinemas. This decision to keep musical performances hidden seems almost disrespectful to the rich legacy of the source material. As always, stay tuned to Survivor Central for the latest updates and insights on your favorite adaptations and more.